The last cables still have to be installed. Anthony Corrin's solar power plant will go online at the beginning of June. The farmer won't tell us how much he has invested in the plant. But he's confident. South Africa has enormous energy needs. There are two big advantages, especially to solar PV technology. The one is the accuracy of the simulations, the yield in, over an extended period. And secondly, the tariffs are guaranteed through the power purchase agreement. So it's one of those investments where you can far more accurately than any other predict your revenue profile over the full 20-year period. The solar field provides an output of around 5 megawatts, enough to supply some 7,000 average households with electricity. But Corin says South Africa could do far more to tap its potential. At the moment we're building 2,000 megawatts. The country could build 2,000 gigawatts. That's how much resource capacity we have. The South African government plans to install solar power plants with an output of some 8 gigawatts by 2030. And since current capacity is nowhere near that, German project developers like the UV company are on location. UV is building Anthony Corrin's plant and sees plenty of future potential. There's a lot of interest in renewable energies throughout Africa. South Africa is leading the way in terms of the projects that have already been committed. There's a total of 64 projects across South Africa. And there's a lot more interest from areas like Namibia, Botswana, that are also coming to the fold now. That's not to say that the going has been easy. Anthony Corrin plans to install two even larger solar fields on his property this year. But UV foresees plenty of obstacles. We need stronger political will, some certainty in the program, so that manufacturers can come and establish their manufacturing plants here in South Africa, particularly in that the program demands to have local manufacturing capacity and other issues like socioeconomic development, skills development, um, enterprise development. That's especially important in a region where many people lack education and jobs. That's why these workers are building a mobile solar power plant. It will soon travel through the surrounding communities, showcasing the possibilities of solar power.